Let's talk about stacks. A stack is often referred to as an abstract data type, one that is defined by its behavior from the point of view of the data, kind of like an object in object-oriented programming. This is defined specifically in terms of possible values that it contains, the possible operations on the values of this type, and the behavior of these operations. The data can be of any type, integers, decimals, characters, strings, boolean, or even more complex objects. A stack is a special array with operations where items are pushed onto the top of the stack or popped from the top of the stack. The term last in first out, or LIFO for short, is the common phrase associated with stacks because all of the action takes place at the top of the stack. You can only access the top tray in a stack of trays or the top book in a stack of books. The same holds true for a stack of data. The three main operations on a stack are push, pop, and peek. The push operation loads a data item onto the top of the stack. The pop operation takes the top data item off of the stack. The peek operation just uses the top data value, but does not remove it. Both peak and pop operations can do something with the data, using it in an output statement or perhaps in a calculation of some sort. Let's look at this push, peak, and pop sequence. For the peak and the pop commands, we'll output the values in the colored area to the right. First, the 9 is pushed onto the empty stack, and then the 8. A peak command looks at the top, and the value 8 is retrieved and output, but not removed. The 5 is pushed, and then it's popped and output. Notice this time it is removed since it was a pop command. Also notice how the top pointer moves down a position after a pop operation. The peak retrieves the 8, which is output, and then the 3 is pushed. The final pop removes and outputs the 3. Now, some possible analysis questions might be what value is now on top of the stack that might be popped or peaked next. In this case, it's the 8. Or how many elements are left in the stack? In this situation, 2. Or maybe what was the last value popped? It was the 3. Let's work through a push, pop, and peak sequence using a stack. Every time we peak or pop, we'll output the values in this little output window. And we're going to use this structure as our processing. So when we push a 4, the 4 goes on the bottom, push 5, push 2. Now when we peak x, we just look at the 2, and we're going to output it, but we're not going to remove it. Push 7, pop x means we pop the 7. Push 3, 3 goes on top, we pop the 3. Peak x means we look at the 2. Push 9 means a 9 goes up here. Pop x means the 9 is popped. And now we're done with the sequence. So what's at the top of the stack? It's the 2. What was the last value popped? That was the 9. What's the size of the remaining stack? There's three elements left. Is it empty? No. What are the remaining values? 2, 5, and 4. So this is just a typical stack processing sequence where you need to know how it works and do it properly and then be able to answer some analysis questions at the end of it.